Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the basic introduction related to the subject managerial economics and financial analysis. So first, in the first part, you'll be learning about the managerial economics and in the second part, you'll be learning about the financial analysis. So first, let's see the definition of managerial economics, the nature and scope of managerial economics in this video. Okay, first, what is managerial economics? Managerial economics is nothing but it is integration of economic theory with business practices for making decisions. That means economic theories, you'll be having some economic theories like how to spend money, how to save money and how to invest the money and all those economics theories, you will be integrating them with the business practices. So in order to make decision properly in order to make perfect decisions to make out a profitable business so that is the reason why you need managerial economics uh, managerial economics is an integration of economic theory with business practices to make decisions to make proper decisions okay you clear with the definition of managerial economics right now let's move to the nature and scope of managerial economics Coming to nature of managerial economics, let's first see what is nature. Everything or every object or every human being will have some nature, some characteristics about it. So in the same way, managerial economics also has a nature. That is the first one is it will obey, it will follow arts and science. Nothing but it requires a lot of logical thinking and also creativity skills so that is the reason why managerial economics will obey will follow arts and science got it the second one is it uses the components of both micro and macro economics what is micro economics micro economics is nothing but it deals with a single firm that means only single a part of economy or a part of organization, a part of industry, only single. It is not depending on anything and it is a small industry or a small firm, you can say. And coming to macroeconomics, it deals with a whole part of ec it will it will deal with whole economy it will deal with a big organization okay that is macroeconomics and microeconomics got it so the managerial economics will use the components of both macroeconomics and also microeconomics got it and the third one is inter multidisciplinary in nature or it is dynamic in nature what do you mean by that and multidisciplinary or dynamic means in nature or when you go into a business field, you will be having different type of situations and different types of things to deal with. So managerial economics should be in such a way that it should change according to the things happening. So that is why it is called as dynamic. That is why it is said to be dynamic. That means it is it should change according to the situation. The next one is prescriptive or normative. Prescriptive or normative means that managerial economics will always focus on goal achievement and it also deals with practical situations. Okay, prescriptive or normative means managerial economics will focus or will aim at goal achievement and also it will deal with practical situations. Okay, and the next one is management oriented. Management oriented is nothing but it is used as a tool or it depends on management on how to uh, spend money and how to earn money how to save money and all those simple it will depend on all those simple things okay and the next one is pragmatic pragmatic is nothing but it deals with practical situations okay this is the nature of managerial economics arts and science it uses components of both microeconomics and also macroeconomics it is multidisciplinary in nature and it is prescriptive and both normative and it is management oriented and it is also pragmatic pragmatic is nothing but dealing with practical situations okay coming to the scope of managerial economics scope is nothing but where we can use this concept of managerial economics in which topics or in which content in which aspects of business the word managerial economics can be used is nothing but the scope of the managerial economics so the tools and technologies of managerial economics are used tools and technologies managerial economics has some tools and some techniques right all these tools and techniques are used in production production is nothing but the amount of production that you can do from your industry or from your factory 
what is the raw material you have and how much is the production that you can make out of it you can calculate that based on by using managerial economics next one is reduction and control of cost how can you control the cost of production of a product how can you reduce you have to reduce the maximum amount of cost amount of production then only you can make profits right so the reduction and control of the cost is also an important aspect in your business so that can be known or that can be learned from managerial economics next determining the price of the item determining the price of item if how can you determine the price of the item to in order to determine the price of the item first you have to calculate the cost of the production cost of labor your profit how much profit you want to make and all those things all those calculations and all those determinations of a price of a particular item or a product can be done by using managerial economics next capital and investment decisions what do you mean by capital and investment decision suppose you are planning to start any business and first you have to think or you have to analyze what is your investment how much you are going to invest and how much profits you are going to make out of it how how much capital you have to set up primarily and all those decisions can be made by using managerial economics and also if you are doing a partnership business with some other person then what is your share with what percent is your share how much percent you have to invest how much percent you have to invest such that you can make good profits all those calculations you can make by using managerial economics and profit planning management profit planning management is nothing but how you can make profits out of your business how wisely you can plan your business or how wisely you can set up a business so that you can get profits you can get good profits all those things you can learn from managerial economics so all these tools and techniques of managerial economics are used for all these aspects in order to produce optimal solutions optimal solution is nothing but the best solution right this is the scope of managerial economics it is used for production for reducing and controlling the cost for determining the price of the item and also for capital and investment decisions and also for planning your profits so by using all this you can produce optimal solution optimal solution is nothing but the best solution the profitable solutions right in this video we have learned about the introduction to managerial economics that means the basic definition of managerial economics and also about the nature of managerial economics and also about the scope of the managerial economics in the next coming video we'll be learning the next continuation topics related to managerial economics and financial analysis. Thank you.